Hey, how's it going? It's Mr. Bill here today, and in this tutorial, I'll be covering a um a little thing that was covered on the Ableton forums a little while ago, and also um a guy called Syncretia posted it on his website. And basically, this is um, relating to the headroom that each channel has in Ableton. It's not really a trick. It's just kind of like a little piece of useless knowledge, but I think it's kind of interesting, and um, I thought I would cover it in a tutorial. So uh, basically, what we want to do to start proving um, this headroom theory is create a sine tone at zero decibels. Um, before I do this, the theory is basically that every channel in Ableton has 62 decibels of headroom. It doesn't actually mean that your stuff is clipping just because it goes into the red zone on your channel. Um, it's not even really a theory. It's actually, I guess you'd call it a fact and it's definitely provable. So I'm gonna prove that now. Um, what you do is you create a, a MIDI channel and you just have a sine tone that is playing at zero decibels. So I'll just create a MIDI clip and just create a, a note. So we get this. And then I want to play that at 0 dB, so I'm going to change the volume down here on the device to 0. And now we can see that it's metering at 0 decibels. You can see here on the peak meter at 0. Um, on the channel it's actually, uh, sorry, on the master it's clipping a little bit. But I think that might be caused because of this voice channel I have here with my mic going through it because I'm running everything through Soundflower, so I'll just turn that off quickly. And yep, you can see that it's just peaked on the master at zero dB as well. So what, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna <clears throat> add 60 decibels to this channel here. So the channel will be clipping by 60 decibels. And the way I'm gonna do that is by putting two utilities and each utility, I'm gonna add 30 decibels to it. And then I'm gonna turn the master down by 60 decibels. I have to leave that up, I guess, so you can hear me. So basically what'll be happening is uh, the sine tone will be clipping by 60 dB on this channel, but we're turning the master down by 60 dB so it won't be clipping on the master. And you'll hear that it, it won't actually have any clipping, so we'll do that quickly. Again, it's clipped because I have the voice channel on, so I'll just turn that off and we'll do it again. So you can see that it's peaked here on the <clears throat> on the audio or sorry MIDI channel by say it's 26 dB, but we've actually turned that zero um, zero dB sine tone up by 60 dB. So you would think that it's clipped by 60, but it says 26. And anyway, the master's still only peaked at zero. So um, yeah, it only got to zero coming out the master, and I couldn't hear any clipping. However, if we turn both of these up to 31 decibels and then we turn the master down by 62, so in total we've turned it up by 62 dB, you'll start to hear clipping. So I'll turn this voice channel off and we'll do it again and listen for the clipping. So yeah, you can hear really kind of nasty clipping happening there. So basically that just proves that the um, that each channel has a 62 decibels of headroom on it. So don't, I guess, worry too much if your stuff's clipping on these channels. Um, I'm not exactly sure if it applies to audio as well. I assume that it does. But um, if you turn your clips up a lot and then you run them into third-party VSTs or even some Ableton VSTs, they won't behave how you uh, believe that they should behave. So sometimes it's not a good thing. But... I guess the reason for it is because it makes it easier to do mix downs or whatever. Um, anyway, yeah, I just thought it was an interesting little fact that I'd share with you. And yeah, check the video description for a link back to the original article that I read this information from. And yeah, if you have any questions, send an email to me at mrbill at mrbillstunes.com. Cheers.